Mama Makem and welcome to Tickly's Busy Kitchen with me, Tickly Nihan. Today I'm going to make a lasagna which firstly contains no gluten, but secondly contains no pasta. But how can that be? Watch and learn. So I've got two big fat leeks here. There's about 600 to 700 grams of leek in total. I'm going to trim the ends. So here's one of my trimmed leeks. Now then, look at this end and look at the way that the rings are formed. I'm actually going to cut along this axis, along the oval axis, from the middle all the way down. So you can see I've cut down into the middle there along that axis. Now, I'll just peel off the layers because these layers what's going to form our lasagna sheets. So I've unwrapped my leek and I've got sheets that look like this all the way through to potential sheets that look like that. Having green stuff on them is no bad thing. And the middle bits here, I'll chop those up and put them in the lasagna. Now I know that there'll be some people out there who are thinking, but I don't like leeks. Well don't make this recipe then. I've got a pan of salted water here that's just coming to the boil and I'm going to blanch these leeks, slices, for three or four minutes to soften them. By blanching and softening them you're making them easier to work with when you construct your lasagna. Once they're nice and soft you can just lift them out to drain and pop in the next lot. So my leeks have now been transformed into some nice soft sheets which I can use to make my lasagna. So let's make the meat sauce. I've got 500 grams of minced beef, 300 mils of beef stock, two carrots finely diced, the leftover leeks finely diced with a small onion, two sticks of celery finely diced, two cloves of garlic finely chopped, a tablespoon of cornstarch, make sure it's gluten free, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of tomato puree and a 400 gram tin of chopped tomatoes. Now you can also use potato starch in this recipe instead of cornstarch, but either way do read the packet carefully and make sure that it doesn't say that it may contain traces of gluten. Heat 25 grams of butter in a pan, have the carrot, celery, onion and leek and stir fry for about five minutes until they become nice and soft. Once the veggies have softened, add in the meat and the garlic and stir fry until the meat is all browned. Once all the pinkness has gone from the meat, add in the chopped tomatoes, the tomato paste and the oregano and mix. Mix the cornstarch into the stock, then add it into the pan, mix well, season with some salt and pepper, then bring to the boil, then cover and simmer gently for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes your sauce should be thick and if it isn't, and mine isn't, leave it to simmer with the lid off for a further 15 minutes. Now the thing about this lasagna is that there's no dry pasta there to absorb any excess liquid, so your sauces need to be really thick. Thick is good! Now for the white sauce, I've got 500 mils of milk, 200 grams of grated cheese, this is optional, and three tablespoons of cornstarch. Again, use a brand of cornstarch which is certified as not containing gluten. Pour the milk into a pan, add the cornstarch and whisk until smooth. Then once you've got all the lumps out the cornstarch, turn the heat on and bring the mixture slowly to the boil with continual whisking. Once it comes to the boil it should thicken slightly, so turn off the heat Add in about two thirds of the cheese, we're going to keep some back for the topping on the lasagna and mix it in. Once all the cheese is dissolved, season with a little pepper. Me 
Meanwhile, my meat sauce has thickened up rather nicely, so it's time to construct my lasagna. So we'll start with a layer of meat. Then I can pop on a layer of my leeks. Then I'll spoon me on a layer of sauce. A second layer of meat. A second layer of leek. A second layer of sauce. A final layer of sauce. A final layer of leek. Now because the sheets are quite thin, you can double up on them quite easily without worrying too much. Then I'll add on the last of the sauce. Sprinkle on the remaining cheese. Now we'll bake this at 160 degrees C, 320 Fahrenheit for about 35 minutes. After 35 minutes, it'll be all sizzly and brown. Now leave for at least 20 minutes before serving. This lasagna does need a little bit of time to set, otherwise you'll end up serving something that looks like a cheap tin of dog food. Now if you get it all right, your lasagna should look like this. Now I'm not going to pretend that this is an easy recipe because it's not. And there are two important things to remember. Firstly, your sauces need to be really thick because there's nothing there to absorb the excess moisture. And secondly, your leeks need to be nice and soft. Otherwise you might have trouble in cutting the final lasagna. Good luck and good harvest.